You know, once again, uh, we get off to a good start, uh, playing with a great deal of confidence offensively as well as defensively. And then we have a lull to end the half. Uh, we turn the ball over two, three times in a row. We turn it over coming out of the break. And Fresno makes their run, which all good teams will do. And uh, they cut it to 11 with about eight and a half minutes to go. And I thought Clara Tapia came up with two big steals uh, and on passes to the post play. And so it was very important. We come down, Liv hits a big three for us out of the corner that gets everybody a little relaxed. And then Taylor Russ goes back to back with two threes that really helped uh, steady what we're doing. And so I think that's been the mark for this team. Uh, Liv has the big game again, a double-double. When she's on the floor, she just gives us so much energy, so much determination. But what I think's really becoming the mark of this team is that we had six players that scored between six and eight points. And so that we are getting a balanced contribution. It's not one or two players having to get this done. We have a number of people. I thought Marlia Campbell came off the bench, gave us important minutes. Taylor Rusk, as I mentioned. And then I thought Bailey Cotton played as well as she's played all year long, offensively and defensively. So there's a lot of uh, thanks to go around from the coaching staff to the players because everybody really did contribute to this victory. You struggled with it for a little bit, but when you really needed it, like you said, you make four three-pointers to start the fourth quarter. I mean, and you moved the ball well. I mean, obviously, your kids bought into what you wanted. You yeah, we that. ended up, uh, you know, in the first half to attack the zone. We went with more with a stationary uh, offense. And uh, in the second half, we decided to start moving people around. And when we started moving people, they started finding gaps. We started attacking, and then we made really good decisions again. And that's the biggest thing. Uh, when we go with our motion offense, all the control goes to the players. And sometimes as a coach, you get a little nervous about that. But it's up to them to make the right reads, to make the right decisions, and to have 20 assists again on 27 field goals. They made a lot of great decisions tonight. Is that maybe an underrated part of this team there? basketball IQ to, to you know, adjust like that in the game, Joe, when, when you're facing pressure and you get a couple travel calls and then they're able to kind of free and flow after that? I think it uh, really starts with Clara Tapia. She can make so much happen. She's a, a constant threat out there, and she is always looking to, to make the next pass. And I thought she attacked the zone a couple times, found Liv one time, found Bailey another time. And then between having her with the basketball and Liv with the basketball, they're making really good decisions. Uh, you take a look at them, they had over half of our assists, the two players. And so uh, people answered, but Liv and Clara got the ball to the right person at the right time. You know, you mentioned Bailey, and obviously this was going to be a tough matchup for all of your post players. Um, like you said, this may have been her best game. Just it looked like confidence-wise. Yeah, one of the things you know, I thought Bailey hit a big shot, the little 15-footer uh, off the baseline uh, when we needed a basket, and that was important that she didn't hesitate. But defensively, uh, she was in there, took a charge, made things difficult to score over her, and Bailey's able to do that. And then when you take a look at it, besides having Liv and Clara on the floor for plus 30 minutes, which are two decision makers, we call them. They're going to make the decisions with the basketball. Uh, everybody else played about half a game. So now we got six players that are playing 20 minutes, and everybody contributes. And that's starting to be the mark of this team, getting eight, nine people double-digit minutes. I know you know you, you got to get lucky every once in a while, too, but to get two fouls on Davalos early, that seemed to kind of Stymie their offense at least a little bit in the first half. You know what? It's a big part of this game. Uh, we talk so much that we need to make more free throws than our opponents shoot. And there are times that, uh, you know, in practice we're talking all the time about don't try to block a shot, just make it difficult. And we need to keep people off the foul line. And so that does change the game. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Haley was in foul trouble tonight, and Taylor Russ stepped up. And that's what you're always looking for somebody to do when we do have foul trouble. I guess finally 3-0 in the conference. Haven't done that since the NCAA team. That's, that's wow. a nice start for you guys. Uh, it is a nice start. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it gets tougher mm -hmm. 
each and every game. But one of the things we talked about that the goal for this season is just to get better today than we were yesterday. And then winning and losing takes care of itself. And uh, they're buying into it. They're playing with a great deal of confidence. And I even thought for tonight that uh, Natalie and Marta were, were a little off in shooting the basketball. But then all of a sudden, we have Marlia Taylor pick them up. And that's, uh, I think, a mark of a good team. I know the ladies are excited to have an off weekend. How about, would you, as a coach, would you rather just keep playing there? Right yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, sometimes you just look forward, uh, maybe just to be able to take a sigh. <laughs> Uh, we're going to practice tomorrow and Friday, though, and we'll go hard again. Uh, the only thing we won't do is play Saturday. And then, as I said, we have a tough road swing with at Utah State, at Nevada. So we'll see how we play away from home. And that's, I think, the next step for this team. Uh, you have to keep the competitiveness going, the challenges that going on the road create, and we'll see how it goes. Level just three and conference goal. Yeah. How good does that sound? It's awesome. It's what we wanted. And, you know, starting off with home games, that's really nice for the conference season. And so um, we just have to keep pushing, you know, this game's over. So we have two road games next week, and we know we can get those. And so we're going to start preparing tomorrow for those. What has it been in the last couple of games with big threes at big times uh, tonight? You hit one, they score, but then Taylor, you came down and hit a couple back-to-back -back positions. What has it been about the timely threes? Got it, too. Um, I mean, we just have to focus. I mean, we were kind of struggling at first, but once we get in our rhythm, like we're a great shooting team, and that, that's what gets us going. So. Did you guys mm -hmm. expect that 2-3 zone, that matchup zone? I mean, did you guys know that was coming at some point? Yeah. We worked on it in practice, and we worked on our four out against it. Um, at first, we seemed a little frazzled because they were really pressing out. I, I think it surprised us at first, but um, once we calmed down, stayed strong with the ball, ball, it was good. I guess talk about, too, you know, a lot of the buildup before the game was on Faz Davalos, and she goes out with two fouls early. How do you think that changed the game a little bit? A lot. Um, I mean, yeah, scouting her was like our biggest thing. We worked on it so much, especially with our, us post. So, um, having it was just awesome. Like it was good. I was excited about it because then it um, it really opened things up for us, especially on the inside. Mm -hmm. Liv, you guys hadn't beaten these guys. I mean, you, I know. You guys have never beaten. <laughs> I guess was there any motivation in that? Was there any talk about that? Problem? Yeah, my mom like had texted me like two nights ago and was like, "What? Um, when did you guys win against them last?" I was like, "I don't know. I've never <laughs> been here when we won." And so, like. I just know Fresno as a good Fresno team, and they are a very good team. And um, you know, I just think that they need to find what works for them. And and so I was just so excited in the first quarter when we were when it was like 19 to eight, and I was like, yes, I can tell my mom that we're gonna <laughs> beat them. <laughs> did, you, did you get a sense that they were just a little lethargic, and you were able to take advantage of that earlier, or, or what did you sense from them defensively? Yeah, definitely, you could see that. And I mean, like with our motion and with our zone offense, you can just we have shooting inside, and we have Bailey, or we have shooting outside, and we have Bailey inside, and we have Taylor on the outside, and so there's just a bunch of different things that they have to defend, and so I think that's hard. And then if they go to man, it's the same. Thing thing you know we can kick it in we can go out and so um you know i think we made them tired more than they were just tired so that's does credit it, to us does it help with joe in the background next <laughs> pass, next pass. yeah <laughs> that's why you have a coach <laughs> i know he wasn't very happy with those last couple shots of the first half with was there any motivation coming in the second half any what was the talk at halftime yeah, I mean, I know we we're up 16, but he said I don't coach the score, you know, so he's like, I expect great play out of you guys. And he said we played great the first 18 minutes and then the last 30 seconds, you know. Mm -hmm. So we just got it. We picked it up, though. Bailey, what is it about you guys, this game and the Saturday game, you build big leads, the other team makes a run at you guys, but you guys never seem to flinch. What is it about you guys that you don't, you don't panic in those situations? Um, I think it's really, especially like this year, we have a lot more experience, first of all, and just like a lot of toughness on this team. Like our entire team is just mentally tough, and especially with Joe on us, like we just fall back on defense. And once we get a few stops, then we're hitting threes, and it's like it's just a lot of energy going around. I guess for any of you guys, would you rather keep playing, or are you happy to have a, an off week Saturday? Or? Mm, it's going to be pretty nice. Yeah. To be <laughs> <laughs> we do have practice, but it's going to be nice. <laughs>